right. Like I was 21 when I placed in the top 100 in Boston, right? But I, I didn't at that time know who I was or what I was capable of. Right, right. You know, and I wasn't running these kinds of comparisons. So right. this at the age of 62, I'm looking at it going, maybe I should have kept up with that, you know, like, you know, rather than gone on with my life and done something different, you know. What did you, what was the, th oh, you did, you said you were a, a, re a writer, researcher, or? Well, I'm, I was basically spent most of my life teaching. What sort of art do you do? Um, collage and well, uh, Kamiyama. Like, I love to just design anything. Kamiyama is the as an artist community. Is it? Okay? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of the hippie Japanese community. Um, you'll learn all about it. There's uh, this uh, there's a lot of foreigners. I believe, for example, that house over there is owned by one of. The, I'll see in a moment. Is owned by an artist. When you meet my friend Matt, uh, Matt, he'll tell you all about it. I haven't seen him in a year, so. Um, so are you a Rocky Mountain guy? So are you from the mountains in, in the USA? Or? No, I I I grew up in Spain okay. until I went to Palma de Mallorca, and then I left when I was eight and grew up in England and stayed there until I was sixteen went to high school, and then I moved back to Florida, um, and. Um, uh, and then I did my I did my I did a Shakespeare festival that's still going on today. Okay. Called the show. That was my first startup that I ever did. I didn't know it was a startup, but that's what it was. Um, and then I uh, kind of worked my way up to Boston, New York, and and uh, I left there in 2004. And I decided to uh, to move to Japan. I had a job off on Wall Street. I saw myself going back into the same American bullshit cycle. I just I was a I was an insurance guy prior to that, right? Same bullshit. Um, lived on Marlboro Street, right there, on the, right next to the gardens. You know Boston, right? Eleven Marlboro Street was my address, and the brownstone, and I had a basement apartment, just a studio, okay, yeah, uh, I, I, kitchenette. I was fascinated by Boston. I spent two days there, but I, just yeah. long enough to run the marathon. Right. I lost my shoes. Yeah. Um, to uh, let's drive around. I'm not sure if I've gone far enough. I may maybe further down, but let me just check down here. Yeah, maybe it's not. Maybe I've gone far enough. I'm just looking down here. No, I don't recognize any of this. Yeah, I'm playing it by kind of got. been a year but I know there's only one road I know it's on the river and I'll recognize it I'll recognize the bridge there's a really neat kind of bridge and we haven't hit it yet if I hit that bridge I know I've gone too far and I've got his number if I come push come to shove I can uh that you have uh, the, the bike. Yeah. 
Okay, this looks right. I'm being followed by Scrabba. <laughs> well, it's funny. Scrabba? Scrabba? What's that? Scrabba is a distance. 